All right, folks, here we go again. Brad Cross here, BJC Outdoors. We're down here today on uh, Peak Week Lake, uh, down on the lower end. We're using skipjack today. Uh, fresh as you can get it. As a matter of fact, the hearts are still beating on them when I, when I cut them up. So uh, I was able to before I ever got the big engine crank there at the boat ramp, and things were jumping everywhere. So, so I caught me a few a few fresh ones. I brought some of my own, but they're fresh. I caught them yesterday, but uh, we can't beat that same day fresh bait. So that's a good thing always when you can find fresh bait uh, at a place you've never been before because you know, I never was expecting that. But that's a good sign when you start seeing skipjack before you ever get the boat unloaded. That means this is catfish in there. We're only using two rods today. Uh, start out with anyway. I've never fished down here, so I don't know how bad the bottom is. Uh, we're gonna start out with two and we'll get out a little deeper water. Right now we're in uh, 10, 12 foot. We're gonna start shallow like we did on other lakes uh, up the river and uh, see what happens. But we'll get out a little deeper and find out that the bottom's not too rough. I may throw out two more, just drag them out the backs. Started dragging up in the back, going up in the back of this big old cove here. and. Uh, I notice there's a lot of cypress trees down here. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you get in these areas, especially these big flats, big coves, there's a lot of cypress trees still out here to, to stump, you know. Cypress knees, I think is what they call them. But uh, I broke off once, got hung up twice. So we're gonna work our way back out of this in a little deeper water and uh, try to get away from these trees. I noticed some fish in these trees, uh, bait everywhere. Uh, it's a good area, but you know, some areas of the river are just undraggable, and I think this is one of them right up in the back of this cove. We're going to go out toward the main main river here and, uh, and see if we can do a little better as far as, as, far as dragging wise. Good thing about this area of the Tennessee River, uh, and I noticed that on the map before I came down here, it's kind of versatile. You can fish shallow, you can fish deep, creek channels everywhere. Uh, another good thing, too, is you. You know, the wind's whooping pretty good out there on the main river, but you can get back up in here in some of these creeks or these coves and, and be kind of sheltered, uh, which I like it because, you know, on Witter Lake, Wilson Lake, uh, some of them areas up there, they, there's not any big coves uh, to get in, you know, to shelter yourself out of the wind. And today was, and well, the rest of this week, supposed to be real, real windy. Uh, and that part of the river uh, is very hard to fish in those winds, so. So uh, it's good down here in this area. You can at least you can get in an area where it's fishable. I don't think it matters where I go. The wind's gonna follow me. I mean, it's blowing 20, probably 20, gusting up 25, 30 across this right back down here. We're gonna get these in. I'm gonna pull back up here and see if I can catch a few more skipjacks. And then we're gonna go back up in some of these coves and try to get out of this wind because I'm drifting out here 1.2 mile an hour with a drift socks out with the trolling motor off. So that's moving too fast. Uh, I am getting a few bites, so just I'm moving too fast. So uh, we're gonna go up here and try to catch a few skipjack and, and go try to get out of this wind. So y'all stay tuned, folks. I tell you what, it's sure windy down here on this lake. I'm gonna go back up in these coves, back up in the back in here, and try to get out of the wind. But the way the wind's blowing, there really ain't no way to get out of it. Uh, and this is the area that I came down here to fish, so I'm gonna fish it. We're gonna give it our best anyway. But it's just wind, man. Wind's always against me. Any day I can fish, the wind's gonna blow. And it's gonna blow the wrong direction. It, you know, if I was at work, it'd be slick as glass out here. But of course, I'm out here fishing. This wind's blowing 30 mile an hour. On a positive note, I was able to catch some more skipjack. I, I got more than I came down here with. Uh, which the ones I got that I brought, you know, they're 20 inch, they're the big skipjack. The ones I was catching up here, uh, they're just a little small. You know, some people call them sardine size. They make the ones you want if you're trying to feed your freezer, but I'd rather fish with the small ones. Uh, they're better to, to control. Uh, you don't lose any fish on them hardly because they're smaller the fish get them in their mouth. But, uh, you know, I just cut the tail off, use the whole thing. So we got some good fresh bait. You know, maybe we can get on something down here in this wind and let us, let us fish it. I love this time of year, man. Other than the wind, the front's coming through. But the temperature's cool. You know, you don't even need ice for your drinks. You don't really need ice on your bait. Uh, it's just a good time of year to, it makes things a little easier. Like I said, if it wasn't for the wind, it would be a perfect day right here. Uh, nice cool temperatures and water temperatures in the high seas. I noticed the water temperature is lower down here than it is up uh, on other lakes close to the house. So uh, that makes a difference too. 
if you can't keep up with a fish, you know, I've never been here before, so you know, anything I catch today is a, is a bonus. I know there's some big fish in here. I can tell by the layout of the, of the terrain and stuff on the bottom. But uh, you've got to find them. You know, that's just, just part of find, coming to a new place. You know, it's always a challenge. Sometimes you can land right on top of them. And then sometimes, you know, it takes you a little while to find them. But that's just part of it. It looks like the wind's trying to lay just a little bit. If it had just dropped five mile an hour, it'd make a big, big difference in what we're doing. But we're almost to the area right here that I want to, wanted to drag. Uh, since we can't drag it, we're going to drift it. So we won't have any control over it. But if we ever get, you know, going across some fish, then I can always pull back up and try to make that same drift. Wind ain't gonna stop us. <laughs> we just now got to the area down here that I wanted to fish. Feels like a pretty good fish if, it, if I got him hooked in the mouth. Been getting a lot of little bites down through there, like channel cat bites. I was starting to wonder, but I, I'm just now, we're right at the, the up, upper part of where I wanted to drag today. It ain't really fighting. I don't, I'm not sure if it ain't wrapped up. Wait till he got to the boat and start acting a fool. Oh, he ain't that monster blue we're looking for, but hey, that's a dang good fish to start with. He forgot he wasn't in the water he kept trying to swim in a boat that's a good blow to start with he ain't no monster but hey we'll take him man tickle to death let's get him back get him out these shallow water catfish man they they something else they, they're a lot meaner than what you catch out deep you know it may take you longer to get one to the boat out deep because they got room to run out here you know that fish come out of six foot of water Oh, you know, ain't got nowhere to go down. They got to go right to left. But that one just give up. It just, just coming behind. I was really the man. I thought it was wrapped up. Got him to the boat. Of course, he wanted to act the fool. And then I got him in the boat and he really acted the fool. But, uh, you know, shallow water fish, man, they just, they just crazy. I sure do wish I could drag this the way I want to, man. I know there's some big fish in here. Uh, got another big takedown a while ago, but he come, he come unbuttoned. But, uh, like I said, I'm at the mercy of the wind. I may try to turn and drag back up through here. Uh, it's gonna be a little loud because of, of the waves hitting the front of the boat. But uh, like I said, this this is this is the whole purpose of me coming down here with this area right here. It's not that big. Uh, 
But, you know, as soon as I got to it, we caught that one and got that one takedown back there. But, uh, the fish are definitely shallow here like they are back up on the lake close to the, to the house. Uh, which I figured they would be. But it's a totally different layout down here. This water's, you know, real deep. There's not many flats. Uh, just some cold. Uh, there's a little small flat right here. It's got a lot of creek channels running through it. And that's one reason I want to check it. Uh, looks like a real, real good uh, area for a big fish. He'll act a fool when I get him up here <laughs> to the pub. Hey, we'll take him, man. You in the area you never fished before? You can't speak to catch big ones right off the bat, but this is just giving us a clue. You know, catching, you know, decent, decent fish. So, that just leads us to the big ones, you know what I mean? Let's let it go. I hope y'all can hear me, man. This wind is terrible. But, uh, we're gonna keep dragging up through here and maybe we can pick up a few more. Uh, I think the wind's supposed to just keep getting stronger and stronger throughout the day, so it's probably going to end up blowing us off the lake, but we're going to give it all we got, so. Y'all couldn't seen that man, he come up back there. Y'all may have him. It's a big fish right I can't tell how big he is. I just seen a big old tail come up back there splashing. Oh, 
Came up back there, I would have thought he was a 70 pounder. I, mean, he... <laughs> I guess I'm getting old, my eyesight ain't as good as it was. <laughs> he ain't much bigger than the first one, I don't think. Yeah, he's a little bit bigger than the first one. Quality blue cat. Things as calm as they can be sometimes, man, but they act a fool a lot out of this shallow water. And I guess it's getting cool to make them get a little spunky too. Well, let's get him back, see if we can get us another one before this wind blows us off the board. Tell you what, folks. If, you, if you're not using the avionics app on your phone, you're missing out. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's nice to sit at the house, and, you know, the night before, or, you know, whatever, a few days before, we'll go ahead and map out what you want to go look at. You know, especially in an area like this, I've never fished before. Uh, and the area, you know, it's got fish in it, big fish. Uh, we ain't found the big, big ones yet, but they're here. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get a chance to today because of the wind, but, uh, you know, it helps to already know the lake before you get on it. Uh, the only thing different on avionics is, the, you know, the fall, winter, when the lake's winter pool, uh, you know, it's going to be summer pool on the avionics, so the depth's not going to be right. But the contour and everything is pretty, pretty close, man. Like I said, that's all I use here. It's a navionics, navionics trip. Never been down here before. Didn't know anything about it. Uh, just got on navionics and looked at it a little bit and found the, you know, air that looked good similar to what I've been fishing. The only thing different here, uh, it's not really a flat, it's just a gradual fall out to the main channel and there's no mussels, you know, and mussels are a big deal on lakes I fish back close to the house. <laughs> I don't think y'all seen that man. I didn't get the camera on the time that catfish hit. Took off pulling, pulling drag, and then come up to the top almost like a bass and throwed that hook. It was a good fish. Hadn't had that happen in a long time. That fish broke me off. That's what you. That's what I get for being lazy. Uh, caught several fish on that today, and I should have done checked it, but I didn't. Uh, that cost me. Cost me a good fish one thing I do before every fishing trip I, I retie all my lines the leader line uh, the main line I retie you know everything new uh, so hopes that that won't happen but uh today I got a little lazy I was kind of aggravated with the wind uh, you know I caught them a couple fish and you know, you drag it on the bottom like that, you don't know what it's doing to your line, so it's best to check it. Most time I do, but I got lazy today and it cost me that fish. But uh, like I said, you just got to have, to have to take time out, you know, because keeping the lines in the water ain't going to do you no good if you if you break one off. So That's my, my fault for being lazy. When I got out here this morning, <clears throat> my plan was there's a real deep hole out here in the main channel. I was gonna go spend a couple rods over that main hole, you know, first thing before the sun come up. Then when the sun come up, I was gonna come over here and drag this area. 
Well, forecast said 34 mile an hour winds. That wasn't too bad. When I left the house, it wasn't even a leaf trickling on the tree. I mean, it was just calm as it could be. Got down here in the wind blowing, I couldn't come out to the main river and suspend, of course, because my baits would have been jumping up off the bottom, you know, too, too bad. So I went up in that back cove back in there, thought I'd get out of the wind, and I did. It was pretty slick back there. And, uh, but here it is, the wind, you know, it's, it's already knocked my planter board, my line off my planter board twice. I don't know how much longer we can stay out here on this. I mean, you know, it ain't, the gust is what get, gets you, you know. You can't keep your line attached to your planter board, you know, it's, it's kind of worthless even trying. Feels like a decent fish. Start swimming to you. too big because I, I got one in the net now. I can't get him out. I don't think this one's that big. One time I'm glad he ain't a big one. <laughs> it's a nice fish though. bigger of the two. Nice fish. He showed me real quick he's gonna act a fool if I didn't put him on video first. So let me get this one back and I'll show y'all tomorrow. That's the smaller of the two. Pretty beautiful color fish. Little brother. 
That's one time I'm glad I didn't have a big fish on. You got one in the net like it. You know, he's got the net occupied. And you know, if you catch one bigger, or you know, a big fish, or even one that like it, you know, just a quality fish, you know, you, you can't just hang them over the side of the boat. Kind of crazy, folks. I got one planter board in Mississippi, another planter board in Alabama. <laughs> That's crazy. I just looked at the looked at the map, and I'm right on the state line right here. So, let's see which state wants to play today. She got a good bite over in Mississippi. It just didn't hook up though. Starting to think these Mississippi catfish won't eat this Alabama bait, even though it just came from right here. Get, get bites on the Alabama side, Mississippi side, and get nothing. It is pretty cool to come out here and uh, drag a planter board in each state. I'm running right up the state line here. Uh, I know Mississippi was right here, but I, I didn't know I was actually on the state line in the past. I've, I'm running right now is, is on the state line. Uh, hadn't done too good right here yet. So there's a lot down here that I didn't get to, you know, get, get, get to even check today because of the wind. Uh, there's several places, deep holes I want to suspend over. Uh, I think they'll, be, they'll produce some big fish. Uh, like I said, I, I had enough uh, areas mapped out in my, in my mind, to, you know, to make a day out of it. Uh, you know, you can only do so much with what the you know, weather weather gives you. Uh, it's a beautiful day, other than the wind. You know, right now, you know, still got got a foot swells out here. It's enough to knock the line off the planter board, especially when it gusts. But it gets it gets worse, and then it gets a little better. Like I said there's so much potential down here for big fish. I will be back. You know, it's about an hour and a half from the house to the boat ramp I put in at. Uh, I put in at the closest ramp I could to where, I'm, where I was going to fish at. Uh, there's some closer to my house, but you know I have to, you know, have to run the river to get here. Uh, I'd rather, I'd rather just drive and make the short run in the boat. Well, this being a new place, you know, I've never been before. I, I'd usually drag four rods. Uh, I've got two more planer boards, but you know, the wind like it is, I really didn't want to, didn't want to mess with them. If I, get, if I come back down here again, and you know it's good and calm, not strong winds, I'll, I'll have to put out more rods. You know we've done pretty good today, just to have two rods out. You know, uh, like I said, but I'd love to have had four rods. I think I would have caught a lot more fish. Uh, maybe we got to got a hold of that big one we have. You just never know. Uh, but like I said, in a, in a new place like this, you know, not knowing how the bottom was, you know, work. The last thing I want to do is throw out four rods and stuff, get them all hung up. I broke off a couple times down here. I've got hung several times, but I haven't broke off with a couple. All right, folks, I think we're going to wrap it up for today. Uh, had a good good morning for a place I've never fished before. Uh, caught some decent fish, you know, some quality. Uh, not nothing real big, but they're down here. Uh, that just gave us a clue. You know, you just keep, you know, moving around. You'll eventually find where the big fish are. Uh, they may be back, you know, up in these coves, shallow, or they could be out here on the main ledges somewhere or another. You know, they still, those fish stay out deep year round. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate y'all taking the time out of your day or night watching the video. Uh, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers, man. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you on the team. Uh, y'all stay tuned for the next one. I'll see y'all then. God bless you.